We're going to get started with our post-race press conferences for today's 58th annual Daytona 500. We are now joined by our third place finisher, Kyle Busch, the driver of the number 18 M&M 75 Toyota. Kyle, your te you and your teammates uh, finished first, third, and fifth out there. Can you talk a little bit about the dominance of the Joe Gibbs Racing cars today? I would just say it was uh, more the willingness of working together than it was dominance of our race cars. Certainly, we did have good speed. The Joe Gibbs Racing guys at the shop did a great job. Toyota gave us some great horsepower under the hood, but... Um, you know, us working together, I think, was the biggest motiv motivating factor of us being up front most of the day. So, um, great day for, for Joe Gibbs Racing. Really pumped for Joe to get back to victory lane here in the Daytona 500. It's been a long time coming, and, um, you know, cool to see Denny score that victory and, and all of us to run up front like we did. Great. Well, now I'll open it up to questions. Please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you and then state your name and affiliation when the microphone gets to you. Go ahead, George. Uh, hi, back here, Kyle. George Diaz, Orlando Sentinel. You talked over here, back to your left, please. Got it. Um, uh, you mentioned, and so did Denny, about, uh, Denny mentioned about um, you guys talking last night about working together and coming up with a pretty, uh, you know, definitive game plan. Can you elaborate on that a little bit, please? No. Thank you. Go back here to the back. Hey, Kyle. Doug Turnbull, WSB Radio. It, I heard Matt over and over saying again on the radio, let's wait till we get almost to the checkered flag or maybe the back straightaway before we break up the JGR posse, so to speak. And it seemed like Den Denny swung to the high line there and did that beforehand. W did you have any intent on trying to do it earlier than that, or were you trying to stick to what Kenseth was saying? Um, no, none of that was related to me. So um, pretty much I figured it was last five. I think it was bleh, bleh, bleh. I figured it was five to go that it was every man for himself, uh, you know, so – uh, I still stuck in line there and was trying to continue to, uh, you know, stay on the bottom. I, I didn't know if the outside was ever going to get going. They haven't in a long time throughout the day. And uh, there were some things that were kind of transpiring on the bottom. And then once Denny jumped up, um, he just got such a huge boost from the four. Uh, I, once he did it, I swore I thought about doing it. And once I thought about doing it and didn't do it, it was too late. That was it, you know. Um, you, can't, you can't think that long and, and not make the move at the same time. So... I missed my opportunity, but, um, you know, that's that's racing. That's how it goes. And, um, you know, it was going to be uh, – got a little hectic there in three and four. I wasn't sure we were all going to make it through there with as dicey as it kind of got. But, um, you know, con congrats to Denny. He did a good job and, um, you know, got the win. Go down the front to Stan. Stan. Kyle, Stan Creek, 905 p.m. Tonight.com, if you will. How does it feel one year later to be in the race, finishing the race, and not be just watching the race? I mean, it's good. It's definitely a lot better being in the race where I'm supposed to be rather than on the sidelines watching across the street. So, um, you know, it's certainly uh, 365 days later, this could have gone two spots better, and it would have been crazy to think of where we were, you know. But um, we, we finished third. It's my greatest finish, my best finish in the Daytona 500 thus far. So uh, we'll take that, and uh, it's a good start to our season. We know we got really good race cars. We know how well um, all of us work together and uh, myself and Adam Stevens, we can, we can, can and should and will win plenty of these open races. So. Do we have any additional questions for Kyle? All right, Kyle, thank you for joining us today. Good luck next week.